I'll be making a review of uh, the brand new release of Manland 10.8.2 is basically an upgrade of Manland 10.8.1 which is Apple's uh, most recent OS X so let's start by checking out um, what version I'm running so we checking out uh, did I just click on that no I don't want to talk about that I don't want to talk about that you gotta go let's check the version I'm running there about this Mac this is definitely running on 4 gigabyte of RAM uh, NVIDIA GeForce 94 Zero zero M to fifty six MB of video RAM, um, but the most important thing here is the software that I'm running. I don't want to do that. I want to do it like this. So as you can see here, I'm running OS X ten point eight point two, which is the latest upgrade. Apple just released it a uh, a few days ago. I think two or three days or so. Okay, so let's see what's new with. Uh, Manland 10.8.2 the most striking thing definitely is the integration of Facebook into the notification area if you check here I'm definitely having just Twitter because I haven't added a Facebook account so let's do that so to do that you can go to your dock if uh, your system preference is there if you don't have the system preference icon in the dark you can click the apple logo go down here and definitely click on system preferences <clears throat> uh, your system shouldn't be as slow as mine good not so slow though <clears throat> so here you check personal hardware internet and wireless uh, if you want to add facebook to your notification area you come under internet and wireless so you click on mail contacts and and calendars there we go uh, so you'll find that facebook has been added onto the list of other can i say websites you know we had iCloud Microsoft Exchange Gmail Twitter is older because it came with Monoline 10.8.1 when it was basically released I can see something there device lost means I'm not gonna get internet I wanna show you how we can add this Facebook account so come on connect 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 waiting on this waiting on this when it pops up but let's go on yes good <coughs> So I gotta connect to the internet first before I can add a Facebook account. And that's the same thing you need to do definitely. You cannot, you know, access Facebook without an internet connection. Okay, I'm connected. So you click Facebook. I'm gonna type in my Facebook username. No, sorry, I don't know my username. That's for real. So I'm gonna type in my Facebook um, email and under password you're not gonna see this ah there we go so it's gonna say signing into Facebook will download your Facebook friends to contact will allow you to post status enable apps to work and all that you just sign in because you have no option so let's wait a little bit As enjoy my soda so there we go Jeff Wilson <clears throat> context so it's updating the context this is one of the best that you know app has done about Facebook integration now if you look here carefully you find that um, there's something to do with context in our context if we go to I'm gonna have to minimize this if we go to context you find that all my Facebook friends are gonna appear let it update I don't know how long it's gonna take but <coughs> we shall come back to that later on 
Uh, let's see another feature as you wait for this. Mm. Did you see there? <clears throat> Saying Spamandla in Obo tomorrow. This definitely means that uh, one of my friends' birthday will be tomorrow. So I can snooze or I can just close it up because it normally appears in the notification. Bam! You see, another guy's 32nd birthday will be. No, it's actually today. And that's another cool stuff, you know? You know what I mean? So, all contacts. I'm not seeing my contacts here. Good. So, here they pop. Here they come. All this. Jeff Wilson is definitely my Facebook username. And if you check here, I have over a thousand something friends. I even don't know some of these friends. If you just click on <coughs> any of those, sorry, I'm losing my voice. Any of this, when you click on them, gives you the email of the person, gives you the phone number, for example, you can see this. So, I mean, all my Facebook friends. Tomorrow, did you see that? A little bit of interruption, though. <clears throat> you know, I have all the contacts here, so I don't have to go to Facebook and commented on your status more details you know someone just commented now you know that's a new notification from facebook so that's why i'm saying mon lion 10.8.2 is some real updates a lot of them popping in i think it's kind of annoying i'm doing a video needs to understand that so i don't need to log into facebook and go and click on to my friends you know details and check the phone numbers and all that all this has been integrated here so if i have mac os x if i have a uh, mac os x 10.8.2 the friends are definitely just you just click on them and all the contact details are there now that is to do with contact now let's check notification but she ed just commented on my status so clicking on this will definitely connect me to my facebook page and he's saying more details i think it's about the video that i'm making right now you know one thing that is still lacking though i think uh apple could have done better if they would allow me to you know respond to notifications just right from the notification center or you know i could send messages directly you know from the notification center but this doesn't happen all you can do basically for example uh you see i have a notification here so the only way i can deal with this is to click on it and it's definitely going to launch safari when it launches safari it will connect me to my Facebook page and that's when I'll be able to respond. You can see what's going on here. I'm gonna minimize this for for a while now. No. Let's check out what I was talking about. <clears throat> so the only thing you can basically do from the notification center is just to just to post on your wall. So I'm posting this cause I'm making a video on Moon and Lion Mac OS X 10.8.2 upgrade. So you post that, it will bang some kind of noise, you know, telling you that the post was successful. If it's not, I'm not going to hear the noise, but when I hear it, I know it's posted. So we're not going to wait for that when it comes to it. So let's check out what Bashi, this is definitely, you know, this is what came in the notification. So I'm going to res respond to Bashi and tell him that I will be able to post a link to the video later today and that's it. it's really cool you know a lot of people are liking it I'm making a video review I'm online you know all that kind of stuff and I'm not going deep into that but at least you had a glimpse of that 
Now, what other good things that came with this upgrade is that uh, I think later I'll also be making a more detailed uh, review of uh, uh, of the upgrade on Mount Lion 10.8.2. However, one thing with the Facebook thing is that um, at times you just see friends here. Yeah? I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, at last it has, you know, uh, this is really cool because now you can just, you know, you can choose who should, you know, check out your post and who should not. So if it's friends, so the post goes to friends and if it's the other things, you know, and all that, I'm not going into that. You know that from Facebook already. Um, I think it's cool. For now, we're stopping here. I'll be posting this video later on in the day. So you have a nice time.